In today's experiment, you're going to be measuring the temperature of a couple of different surfaces. And instead of using thermometers, you're going to be using temperature probes. Now, this measures temperature the same. Uh, you'll get the same information, except the difference is you'll be able to do this. Sorry about that. The difference is you'll be able to plug this into your computer and get the actual measurements straight into a piece of software that works together with these temperature probes. I'm going to show you how to set that up right now. You are going to need two so that you have two of them you should have. And the way that works is you're going to go here to the slide um, where you're watching the video and you'll see that on the bottom left there's a link to a Logger profile. Logger Pro is the name of the software that we're going to be using. So what you need to do is you need to click there and ultimately download it. Uh, it's going to open on Google Drive and nothing will happen, but it will give you an option to download because there's no preview. So click download and it's going to go into the, the download bar there for you and you can click directly on it and you'll notice here it's opening the application called Logger Pro. Now it just so happens that I have mine already pre-sized so that I can also show you photo booth at the same time and you'll be able to see me. Now the first thing you need to do then is you're gonna to have to plug these in and then figure out which one shows up where on the actual software. So I take the USB, I plug it in over here on the right side of my computer. I take the second one and I plug that in by the way, at this point, you might get a weird message um, if you already have Logger Pro open, which you probably do. Uh, ignore that. Watch what's going to happen. As soon as I plug in the second one in the computer, it goes away. And so now you're ready to go. You've got two temperature probes. You've got them plugged in. And here's what's going to happen. We need to figure out, I think you can see here on the screen, that there are actually two. There's a temperature one. I'm going to leave you for a minute. There's a temperature one and a temperature two. And the goal is to figure out, the goal is to figure out which one of these is which one. So the simplest way to do that is to just take one. I'm happening to grab the one that I plugged in on the right and I warm it. So I put my hand around it and I pay attention and I see where is, where do I see temperature changing? Well, you can probably see right now on the screen there, the temperature is going up, 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 up. So this is my temperature two, which is shown in red in Logger Pro. And that means that this other one has to be temperature one. And I'll start to heat it as well, just to check. And you should see as well that the temperature is increasing. So what you want to do too is make sure you have a clear understanding of which probe is which so that you can um, associate it to a particular surface. Now, once you're ready to actually um, make measurements, um, you'll see that this file that we've given you already has uh, a data table set up with two temperature columns and it has some times there. And once you have everything set up and you've put the temperature probes into your particular surface and everything's ready to go, um, the moment you want to start the timer, you will click this green button that I just clicked. And uh, what you'll happen is, what you'll see is that you'll get the first measurement at the very start. Start is zero. And one of the probes was 26.7 degrees Celsius. The other one showed 25.9 degrees Celsius. The reason those are different is because the, they didn't have a chance to cool back down once I started. Um, and remember, you're going to want to try and get them as close as this is. Um, have been set up and chosen correctly and have started in the same room, for example, um, then they should be as close as possible. In any case, you're going to have these probes inserted in the surfaces, and this will run automatically. Now, um, maybe I'll be able to talk long enough for you to see the first measurement come through, and you'll get another row in the table that actually fills out. Predictably, this will be minute one. You'll see what the temperature is in each of those cases. I might as well try and heat them to see if we can, oh, there it is. We already showed up. We already got a measurement. You will notice that the graph was automatically plotted down here. And again, as the temperature warms up in your probes, um, that's going to, every minute you'll get a temperature reading 
and a line will automatically form and be connected there. Um, so you should have decided how much time you're going to heat your surfaces for and then make sure that you cool them for the exact same amount of time. Um, the way you cool them is you take them away or you turn off or you remove the heat source that you've chosen and um, that will happen after the amount of time that you've decided. Just be careful that when you're ready to remove the heat source or turn off the heat source or whatever, that you leave this piece of software still working and Logger Pro running. Um, you only want to push this red button right here. You only want to push that, which you can see will stop collecting data. Um, you only want to push that when you're completely finished with the experiment. By the way, you'll notice that my heating it didn't really work. I, uh, it, I had it in my hands, but the temperature kept dropping um, after the initial time I heated it. In any case, when you have a heat source on, you'll get an increase in temperature. And when you're done with the entire um, data collection, same amount of time heating, same amount of time cooling, then you push stop right there, and you'll have a complete file. Now, the last thing you'll need to do is you'll need to save it, which you can do by clicking on that icon there. And actually, no, it will be better to click the file menu and click save as so you can decide where you're going to put that file. And at this point, it's on the desktop, which is fine. I could rename it um, Heating, Cooling, Surfaces, Data. Something to that effect. Click Save. And I'll be able to reopen that file and look at the data and do some calculations with it that we're going to do later. Uh, so at this point, you know how to use the temperature probes. And right now, your mission is to um, keep planning your experiment. Now that you know how the probes work, you can include the use of these probes in your plan and exactly how and what you're going to do. Good luck.